All right, ladies and gentlemen, there is no knowledge that is not power. Very wise words. We're going to play through with uh, Kenshi today, Mortal Kombat Project Flame Edition. Uh, this version is one of my favorite Mugen versions. Um, I just love everything about it so far. It plays just like Mortal Kombat Trilogy with the aggressor mode at the bottom. Kenshi is one of the uh, coolest characters in this version, I think. Its combos are good, its finishers are good, uh, if I can get them to work. And uh, yeah, it's just an all around cool character. So another cool thing about this version is there is an intro story to every character that you choose as well, as well as a uh, end story. Uh, Kenshi, we will find out what uh, what his story is about and what his ending is about also with all original artwork. So the swordsman Kenshi nurses a bitter hatred towards Shang Tsung, whose deceit had resulted in his blindness, guided by the mystical sword Sento. Kenshi seeks to find and kill the sorcerer, and the Outworld invasion offers him a chance to do so. When Shao Kahn claimed the souls of the Earth Realm, Sento protected Kenshi, allowing him to uh, join the battle. Alright, we're going to play through Novice. Uh, it doesn't mean that it is uh, necessarily Novice, it just means that the uh, tower is shorter than the uh, Master Tower. <laughs> so, uh, here we go. Now this game has a lot of cool cool backgrounds some of them are a little overdone i find uh, we're playing against the human sector here not sure what that was but there's a lot of detail in these backgrounds uh it doesn't necessarily mean that that's a good thing sometimes it's a little uh a little too much, too busy, but I definitely give them credit for this one. Looks really good. You got the uh, Shao Kahn voice from uh, Mortal Kombat 2. And she's got some cool moves. Uh, character comes from the sky. Teleport ray or telekinetic rays. That move there. Do that first. <laughs> Friendship. Friendship. Very cool. Figured we'd start off with a friendship. Why not? There's a lot of red, a lot of blood going on in that level. Round one fight. All right, is this in fact a pit fatality? Not sure. Looks like it could be though, with the uh, water in the background. Very cool, very creative. Uh, now, you can, um, there are combo breakers in this. Simply push, uh, run, and block at the same time. can we do to reptile let's try the stage fatality it's run 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 low punch let's see if that works never know different version oh it's not reptile it's raptor it looks like a uh, it's like a mix of reptile and uh, cyber ninja It is a fatality. Um, however, if Raptor can swim, I don't see it being a big deal because nothing really happened to him. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that is a stage fatality. Very cool, regardless. Round one fight. This stage is from Mortal Kombat 4. Definitely seen this before. Let's do a uh, an awesome fatality on Sonya. Um, So this fatality is actually one of my favorites in the entire Mugen series. I uh, will show you after I get it. Oh. There we 
go. That fatality there, you scream. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me of like Sindel's. Maybe he's using some telekinetic energy or something there. Whatever the case, looks awesome. We got a Mortal Kombat dojo here. kick down forward forward pulls out your intestines your heart which is still beating your liver your kidneys very cool all right now we have a robotic set door this one looks like it could be a stage fatality as well so let's try that you got the uh you got the uh, Shao Kahn Tower in the back from Mortal Kombat 3 in the top, you'll notice. Ooh, that's a cool move. We will try a stage fatality. Try a stage fatality for this one. look like there's a stage fatality for that one unfortunately should have tried something else after i uh after i realized it didn't work at first round one fight Ooh, this is interesting it looks like it's being played on the security cameras actually this is a uh obviously it's like a nightmare level or something very cool. Awesome. That's an interesting level. It definitely looks messed up with the uh, static, but very cool. Tanya. Tanya's a character I gotta play through this with. Nice. <laughs> Fatality. Very cool. To be honest, that stage wall is neat. I could do without the uh, static in it. So we've seen uh, three very cool uh, fatalities so far. Another cool original stage. Uh, Striker is actually one of the most obnoxious characters in this game. Um, the speech on him is just it's insane. He, he uh, gets a little carried away with what he says in this. Uh, but we'll, we'll use him another time. Gotcha. Oh. 
Oh, you're gonna cry? You're gonna cry now. Phase on the sword. So his four fatalities are awesome. Very well done. Lots of detail. Uh, no doubt there's a lot of stage fatalities in this. That might have even been one, but uh, who knows? Now we got Shinnok. Now you will feel the force of darkness. Very good. The uh, Shinnok from um, Sub Zero Mythologies. Looks like I can't teleport through them. Okay, great, no, I can't do that either. There we go. I believe there's no fatality against them because when you beat them, I believe his head just explodes. Shouldn't even try that. At the end of the game, there's still another two or three uh, characters, I believe. But I do like the, uh, the finishing animation for that battle. Shinnok's menace is over. Now he is doomed to suffer in the deepest pits of the Never Nether Realm for more millenniums to come. We still have Shao Kahn and uh, Quan Chi. Round one fight. Dusty! You gotta love when that combo actually works. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta learn to uh, get that uh, combo breaker down. There is a stage fatality in this uh, level for sure, so I'll make sure to do that if I can, if I can win. Breaker. Dusty! Ah. Give me that move. Pulling it off quick enough. Tough sometimes. Breaker. Ooh. Awesome. Oh, hard carry on himself. His um, stage fatality is hard to pull off because it's so close to uh, his friendship. Regardless, we got a hard carry out of it. That's always an entertaining one for Quan Chi. Just stomps on himself very nice now before uh, this playthrough actually i'll explain after 
Okay, here we go. Kentaro and then Shao Kahn. I tell you, the uh, combos really make a difference when fighting these bosses. You can, you can catch them with combos more than more often than not. And it uh, really adds to the uh, damage also. Stage for Mortal Kombat 2, one of the uh, greatest arenas in all of uh, Mortal Kombat. You could probably just do like a couple of hits. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. I think Charles going to win that one. Kenshi actually has an animality and a uh, brutality in this version. Didn't get around to doing it. All right, brutality is pretty much the uh, same. It's what you what you would expect. As for his animality, well, I've never done it yet, to be honest. I know he has one though. All she wrote. Now the final battle against uh, Shao Kahn. You have to finish him. I believe, or he will come back as Super Shao Kahn. Again, I've been playing so many of these Mugans, it could be a different Feel version. The wrath of Shao Kahn, one fight. <laughs> you can't do that on him, I don't think. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Shao wins. <laughs> Shao win. Sounds like one word. Yeah, you, can, you can combo break him. Like any other character. He gets aggressor mode, unfortunately. Doesn't seem to... Uh, all right, let's see what he does. Nothing. So that was harder than uh, expected. Now the earth is doomed until I try again and beat him. <laughs> see what Kenshi's story is. You will die more round one fight. That combo seems to be a little slower. It's so Gotta block a lot. Piece of cake. Is that your best? It is my best because I beat you. You'll see a lot of that combo, but probably uh, the best combo that he has. fatality against Shao Kahn. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mortal Kombat Flame Edition with Kenshi. Very, very cool version. Let's see what uh, Kenshi's ending is. Uh, if you're wondering why I skipped that part, you have to obtain the code. It's different every time. And uh, it'll basically give you a battle against one of the secret characters. Here we go.
very cool artwork there. You see Shang Tsung. Uh, you see, <laughs> it's actually a picture of uh, Sub-Zero, I believe, but they made it to look like Kenshi. Blocking up the eyes. Very creative, though. war-torn city it looks like such a cool picture though I really like that they uh, they left it in all right so stick around till after the credits there was a uh, level that I played through earlier with Kenshi and I couldn't believe what I saw it was very very cool so after the credits here so uh, we can give full credit to uh, those who uh, put this Mugen together for our enjoyment um, I will add the uh, the level in which I played <laughs> it's something it's something it kind of reminded me of like Mortal Kombat and Narc the uh, video game Narc uh, together so uh, yeah, stick around after these credits and watch, or just skip through them and uh, take a look at this uh, this one level that was included in this version of uh, Mortal Kombat. Um, I've played through this game several times. I've only come across this stage once, and I was fortunate enough to be uh, recording while I did. So uh, yeah, you'll get a kick out of it. Trust me. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your life. Sung is a, a wholesome guy in real life. That's what that last word is. Alright, check this level out everyone, this is cool. Let's see if there is a actual Let's run 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 low punch. Okay. So we'll try that next. Now check out this level. Is that interesting or what? Uh, you got live nudes in the back. <laughs> Very interesting. I've never seen this uh, this level yet. 
Great. Hold on. Cars driving in front. I gotta say, I do like the uh, creativity. Definitely very cool. <laughs> Pussy! Got uh, rock and music. Here's an awesome fatality. I know this one works. Eyes hit the screen. In the back there, you got for sale booze and condoms. <laughs> My goodness, what a uh, what a stage that was.